Becky and this is January's middle school book talk. So the first book I'll be talking about today is The Rembrandt Conspiracy by Darren Hicks. Here it is right here. Now this is actually the second book in the Lost Art Mystery series. The first book in the series, The Van Gogh Deception, is a Blue Stem Award nominee. The Rembrandt Conspiracy follows Arthur, who is known as Art to his friends, who is a 12-year-old son of an art conservator. This book takes place a few months after the first book in the series, where Art and his best friend Camille expose one of the greatest con uh, cons in art history. Art has a suspicion in the new book that an art heist is about to take place at the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C., at a gala there and him and Camille have received an invitation to attend this gala. He doesn't have much proof, so Art and Camille have a lot of work to do to save a billion dollars worth of paintings. This is an exciting adventure read, and readers are also introduced to scientific equipment that are used to protect delicate art and techniques in art, art restoration, which is something new that I haven't read about before. This book is also engaging because it it has QR codes throughout the read so that kids can scan them with their devices, like their smartphones or their tablets, and they can actually see works of art that are discussed in the book by famous artists like Rembrandt, Degas, Vermeer, and assorted others. So I'm gonna show you an example. So in the first part of the, right before the prologue in the beginning, it's called Follow the Codes. And this is the interactive QR code that the kids can scan. And all throughout the book, they are placed for scanning so the kids can see the artwork that's being discussed on that particular page. So I really thought that was interesting feature of this book. So this is definitely an engaging read, especially with the interactive features for middle schoolers. And I highly rec recommend the series. The second book that I'll be talking about is The 13th Fairy by Melissa de la Cruz. So actually, Never After is the series name, and that's the biggest um, title, but the actual title is down here, The 13th Fairy. So this book is um, a new series by Melissa de la Cruz, but you probably know her popular Descendants series, which was turned into a, a series of movies on the Disney Channel. So The 13th Fairy is a story where real life and fairy tales collide. The story's main character is a middle schooler named Philomena who lives in a small uneventful town in California. Philomena is adopted and her parents are very protective, never letting her walk anywhere unsupervised. Philomena also deals with being bullied every day at school by the mean kids. They tease her about her looks and because she's very smart. Philomena is obsessed with a book series called Never After, and she has read all 12 books in the series. These books are about a fairy tale land with fairies, princesses, ogres, and evil witches. For the first time in her life, her parents are letting her walk to the local bookstore with no parent. So she could buy the new installment of the Never After series, the 13th book, which also happens to be the final book in the series. Philomino realizes she is being followed when he gets, and when he gets close enough, she sees that it is Jack Stalker, also known as Jack the Giant Stalker, one of the heroes from the Never After series. Jack saves her life as they are attacked by magic on the sidewalk in her little town. At first, Philomino thinks she must be dreaming or still reading a book. But Jack is an assistant. He's real, the stories are real, and Philomino must come with him at once. Soon, Philomena is thrust into the world of evil fairies and beautiful princesses, sorcerers, and slayers, where an evil queen drives her ruthless army to destroy what is left of the fairy tribes. Philomena must save the kingdom of Westphalia and find the truth behind the fairy tales. This book has it all, adventure, suspense, friendship, danger, fairy tales, magic, and fun, and I highly recommend it. The third book for this week's middle school book talk is The Complete Baking Book for Young Chefs by America's Test Kitchen. So it looks like right here. 
And what are so what's so awesome about books by America's Test Kitchen, which they make a lot of adult cooking books also, is that they test these recipes out um, with a variety of skill level cooks and bakers to make sure that they work. And when they made this particular book, they had more than 4,000 kids testing each and every recipe, sending them feedback, and letting them know what worked and what needed improvement. America's Test Kitchen believes that baking is a science as well as an art, and this book makes it easy for young cooks and bakers of all skill levels to bake some amazing treats, from soft pretzels to chewy brownies. The cookbook has step-by-step -step photos and tips and techniques. The recipes are easy to follow with readily available ingredients that you probably already have in your cabinet or pantry. Um, I did have a couple favorite recipes I wanted to show you. The first is from chapter two, which is about yeast spreads. And the recipe is for their cinnamon rolls, which I'll just give you a quick glimpse of it. And they give you a neat shortcut um, replacement technique for rolling up the giant, instead of rolling up the giant rectangle of dough, which is great. And my second favorite is chocolate cupcakes with Nutella frosting. Give you a close up of that one. And it even includes a neat little history lesson on Dutch processed cocoa. The book has plenty of, plenty of instructions from cracking and separating eggs to how to melt butter to measure, measuring and weighing ingredients and tools to use to make the work easier and even how to line a cake pan with parchment paper. This is a great pick for young bakers or someone who is new to baking. Definitely check it out to see over 100 recipes that you'll love to bake, share, and eat. So I want to thank you for listening to this month's middle school book talk. And I wanted to let you know a couple things that we have going on at the library. Next week is our snack attack program. And we do have one spot left. So if you register for that spot, you can pick up your kit with all the ingredients to make the white chocolate snack mix next Thursday at the front desk. My second thing I want to tell you is that we do have a winter craft available for the children and it is at the front desk for you to pick up at your convenience. And the third program we have going up on right now is a winter reading program. We partner up with McDonald's. So we have a McReader program and the um, book logs are available at the front desk. If you read five books, you get a free small fry voucher. And if you read 10 books, you get a happy meal voucher. And you can turn your logs in here at the library to receive your vouchers. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next week for Snack Attack and next month for February's Middle School Book Talk. Bye-bye.